Tongs to make my internship for Isaac. Uh, I'm here for 12 weeks already. I was going to stay here just for 8, but I decided to prolong my, my stay here uh, because I made a lot of friends and I'm enjoying my time here so much. So I'm an Isaac in Brazil also and I was pretty amazed about Isaac Tongs work and I learned a lot with my friends here. So I decided to make a cedar internship and it's very amazing here. So I came to Tons for a project called Spartan Health and it was, uh, the, the aim of this project was to teach children for a place uh, about Spartan Health. So I worked with uh, two Chinese people and one Indonesian guy and it was a very amazing experience because I didn't know anything about China and about Indonesia. So, hey, I'm here in the Lenina Street and I'm waiting for one bus to come so I can show you because they are very interesting for me because they are very different from the bus I have in my city. So they open the both doors and the bus driver can let everyone in. And when people want to go out of the bus, they need to pay for the bus driver, but I think in Brazil it wouldn't work because people would run away from the bus. And another interesting thing about the bus is that when it's very crowded, people usually give their money for another person to pass to the bus driver. And for me it was sh very shocking because I had never seen that in Brazil, in my city, and I think it wouldn't work. So this is my shoot. I arrived in Tomsk at January 28th and I'm leaving in Tomsk just in April 24th. I'm in front of Blini and Blini actually is pancakes and it's a very common food here in Russia. They have this to eat like McDonald's because they don't have McDonald's. So they eat Blini and it's very good and much healthier than McDonald's. So you choose the pancake with anything you want inside, sweet or salty, and it's very quick, so it's a food that I ate a lot here and I like very much. So at Planet I met uh, over uh, 20 interns, uh, a lot of them were from China, and there were also Indians and one guy from Costa Rica and from Egypt, and Australian girl. So it was, uh, I got a lot of new friends and it was my first week in Tomsk so I started my internship with this conference. It was uh, a very good starting for my internship. So I'm here in front of the cinema and I came here with my host once and with Isaacers another time. And it was kind of strange because Russians don't make subtitles for the movies, they translate everything into Russian. So I couldn't understand anything of the movies that I watched and it was very interesting experience. Okay, so in the intern track we had some special sessions just for us and also we had uh, interns performance and uh, LC Tom's liked it uh, very much because they told us that, uh, after that they, they liked it and it was pretty amazing to meet this Egyptian guy is a little bit more because I uh, I had met the Indian guy before in Planet, but the Egyptian guy is, I didn't have the chance to meet, so I got new friends because uh, I got to know them better. Second, Isaac is. I had the opportunity to be in international FASI. So it was my first experience as FASI, and I was uh, going to <clears throat> facilitate sessions in English for the new members. And it was a very good experience because it was uh, an opportunity for me to meet how a conference happens from the backstage, not from not as a delegate, but as FASI and OC team. So another experience was with the traffic jam and the uh, Russian drivers because for me it's very scary to, to cross the streets 
uh, even after 12 weeks here. So I'm always taking care of cars that may come or not. And when I'm going to cross the street, I always look on both sides and I never cross before the car comes. So this is something very different from Brazil that I'm still afraid of, the Russian drivers. So I'm inside Marshrutka and this is the bus in Tomsk. It's very interesting because this is the first time I got in the bus. Uh, it was kind of shocking for me because it's very different from the bus we have in my city. So in the meantime, I had my birthday on March 27th and it was amazing. It was the best birthday of my life because uh, I invited a lot of people from Isaac and almost all of them came to celebrate my birthday with me and they said a lot of nice things to me and they gave me a lot of gifts from Russia, very funny gifts and it was amazing, I will never forget the day. A uh, different experience I had here in Tomsk was with the church, Orthodox Church because in Brazil the majority of people are Roman Catholic and my family is Roman Catholic so I wanted to check how is uh, Orthodox service and it was very interesting because it's very different from Roman Catholic so this is another experience I had here in Tomsk and it was very amazing so uh, I can say that this internship uh, was very amazing uh, was the best experience in my life it's something that all interns say but it's something that I really feel because I made a lot of friends here and I really feel that I belong to this place I belong to this LC so another very good experience was to take ice cream when it's very cold so I got ice cream with the interns uh, in my first week and it was very freezing it was very strange but the ice cream was very uh, it was, was much better than in Brazil so I like to take ice cream much more than I took in Brazil this is the best ice cream they have here and I took this a lot uh, when I was getting out of the house or coming to the house so I ate this a lot because it's not so expensive and it doesn't melt so it's better than in Brazil so I had this month that uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, work in the project because Spartan Health had, uh, was already over. So the vice president got a new project for me. I was I'm working in a school in Tomsk. Uh, and this week I had this activity about Easter and the, the kids uh, painted some eggs for me. And it's very amazing because they draw some things about Brazil because I made a presentation about Brazil and I told them that in Brazil we have this symbol about uh, Easter that is the, the, the rabbit so they, uh, some of them draw rabbits in the eggs and here in Russia they have this uh, tradition to paint the eggs and then make this fight with the eggs and after that the winner the, 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 the egg that was broken goes to the winner and the winner can eat the eggs so for me it was very different from what I have in Brazil because in Brazil we have chocolate eggs and we just eat them so it was a very different experience also I'm in front of Isaac's office and it's a very funny story for the first time that I came here because uh, I came by myself, I just got the address for Isaac office, so I, I was here for one week, I guess, and I needed to handle by myself how to get to the Isaac office, so I uh, went to the internet for the index uh, map, and I put the address to see how was the, the street on Street View, and it was very frustrating in the bus because I didn't know where I was so I took some pictures uh, in the map but it was very difficult to find where I was and when I uh, got off the bus I started to look for the place uh, for Isaac office for the address that is Lenin Street 186, 186 so it was very difficult to find it because there's uh, number 190 and number 180 and I couldn't find 186 so I stand like 10 minutes wait, uh, 
going from one side of to the, not, the another side of the block to find the Isaac office. And when I got to the number uh, 186, I needed to go from some stairs, and there was no plate for like where is Isaac office. So I rang the bell, and I was waiting, but kind of afraid of. Uh, being in the wrong place because I don't speak Russian so I'm going to uh, explain where I was to someone that's going to open the door but hopefully there was someone from Isaac that I knew that opened the door for me and I was saved so that's the story for my first time in Isaac office here in Tom. so I'm here with the Tom River and I came here with my ghost the first uh, my second day here so it was very cold because this is the embankment of the river and it's all open and it's more cold than it's much colder than in the city. So I was a little bit afraid of how was going to be my experience here because I was freezing here and I thought that I couldn't go out of my house because of all this cold. So it was kind of scary, but now the river is not so frozen anymore because it's a spring. So this is how spring is, it's all out of ice, but kind of dirty ice because of the, the city and the things. And I didn't know that spring here would be so full of water because the, the ice is melting. So it's kind of obvious, but I didn't think about this. So the beginning of the spring is not so flowery or something. They have a lot of water and it's kind of dif uh, different than in Brazil. Uh, so after these 12 weeks, I can say that this was the best experience of my life and I don't want to leave this city because I really feel that I belong to this city. I have very good friends here, so if I could, I would stay here for more time, but I need to go back to, Bra to Brazil. Uh, so my future plans are to come back to Russia, to come back to Tomsk, to take the Trans-Siberian train with my friends from India and from Egypt and make all Russia uh, route for this Trans-Siberian train and to see all these friends I got here again one more time, at least one more time because I really feel that they are very good friends of mine. Paka <laughs> paka!